gonna get you everything in this league, so I just wanna be labeled as a runner. Timba Z back at again with another video. So today we're gonna to talk about the last dance part two. I know I'm late and I know I have been uploading that, so I should be on track because they're already at part three, but we'll get back to it. We'll get back on track. So today what I got for you part two, episode three was about Dennis Rodman and his come up in his story. So basically he grew up very he grew up similar to Michael Jordan and Charlie Pippen, like the first two parts. His part was he grew up just, you know, just as bad in his neighborhood as the other guys have. And, like, his story was basically about, like, just, um, his, his part was just basically about, like, just coming up. And, like, he was really, he was really different from everybody. He was a very troubled kid. He didn't really know what he wanted to do with his life. But he did go to community college, and he picked up basketball. And once he, like, picked it up, like, because he was very depressed at a young age. So once he picked it up at age 20, he's like, this is nice. Like he, he looked at it as an out, a way out for him to play basketball and things like that. So once he picked up the ball, he started hooping and he started really lo loving the game and really started becoming dedicated to it. He really started getting to the flow, and that's when he started to take over and things like that. Of course, he, he was not that tall. He was just an average height, like five six, five seven. But in over a summer, so twenty to age twenty one, he grew tremendously, and he really took forth and take over his game after that so I thought that was really cool like how he was really late to basketball and he picked up the slide right away and he was very locked in and very focused that's what happened in episode three and then in episode four basically it was about just continue like going back and forth to like current age to like the dynasty age so the dynasty of like when the Bulls won their first championship ring and the hump of overcoming the bad boy Pistons which Robin was on which is funny how their story late back to the Bulls and then he became a Bull later on so that's what the story was pretty much like just overcoming that hump of being the, the bad boy Detroit Pistons they were very tough very physical with the tenacity and it was just very aggressive to overcome but eventually once they hit that hump and they overcome them then the Pistons as as cool as they thought they were back then they were they always felt like Nah, like we, we can't go out like this. So instead of handshaking them, like good sportsmanship at the game, they just walked off the court. And to Michael Jordan, that was the utmost, the most disrespectful thing to the league. And not only the, the Bulls feel that way, but they just looked at it as like dude, we overcame that big hurdle to get into the championship was easier. So that's basically what part two of the last stance was. And go check out the videos. They're really dope. They're really cool. And I'll get back to you guys later. I'm Young Simba. See, I'm out.